do with this is I want to do a full segment on the old car wrap. This is almost three years old. So we're going to go over in detail. I'll show you what a car wrap looks like, at least one that we did. Josh used to be an employee here. So him and I did this car in less than 24 hours, actually. We're getting this ready for a show called Subi Fest. We started the car wrap 24 hours before the show. We stayed, we knocked it out. Three years later, let's look at it. I'll show you guys detail by detail. Obviously, when you do a wrap, there's gonna be wear and tear on it. And I'll go through that. I'll show you what's normal and what's not. Because if you guys go back to a couple of videos ago, you've seen what somebody has experienced in you know two weeks, errors and issues. And then somebody that had a wrap for a year that had a bunch of problems. So this right here has been on for? 2015. 2015 wild dude so let's go over it you know the normal normal areas you always look for is door handles so reach back here they're not terrible wear and tear you use this a lot so as, as much as you're pulling on this it looks really good same here it has a little bit of pop it could definitely be rewrapped but it's not terrible you know you can go over the corners you can see everything it still looks great bumper bumper still looks really good Ooh, the logo this was done in 3m 1080 gloss fiery orange i'm gonna say liquid copper fiery orange that logo too. You're one of the few that actually was able to maintain that. Yeah, that's because I don't wash it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when people wash it, the auto so styling gets ripped off quick. What up guys? So early in the morning, just finished up the AFE power car. Been working on this for a while. It's been in our shop for probably two weeks. Uh, what we did with this one was a full wrap in white. Let me put my coffee down because somebody commented about how I'm always having coffee or water in my hand. What we did is we wrapped the car white. Started with the uh, original color being like a dark gray. Topped it off with the gloss white wrap and then we added the layers of decals which kind of gave you what you're looking at now. We're still working on it. Let's go to the other side because this looks a little better. The stripe all the way across. The original rendering that they gave me had the stripe going all the way down. Felt like it kind of got lost. I'm hoping that they like what we decided to do. We gave it kind of more of a flow with the curve of the car. And we ended in this stripe there. Rather than putting in this area where it's going to kind of lose a little bit of shape and get weird. So that's what we did there. Decal up front. Side graphics along with the red mirrors. I think the red mirrors make it pop. I'm happy with the way the car came out. Hope they like it. We're gonna go deliver this thing in about 15, 20 minutes. I just got some last final things to finish up over there. We'll get some cool cinematics out on the road while we're heading over there. And then we'll go visit AFE. Go look at AFE's warehouse. It's goals. So by the time we get there, you know what I'm talking about. AFE has a massive setup and uh, it's just a goal of mine. One day we'll have it. Hey, bro. Don't ever do it again. Really? Are you serious? I told you I don't want to do the post, bro. Dude, did you see that? He reacted, man. He reacted. He cut me. Yeah, he doesn't even know it. guys there a couple times you know, they provided parts for all my truck and a couple other cars they hit us up for all their wrap needs so we're or we just finished up the BMW Z4M when I first got the car delivered I had no idea what it was as I quickly found out from a lot of people as they're coming to the shop it's like this is a pretty special car Z4M looking into it there was only a few thousand of these made they're really valuable so I'm sitting here on the freeway I'm driving it and I'm just like it kind of like hoping that nobody comes around me but 
Uh, we're almost there. AFE's only about five minutes away from us, so I'm only driving down the street, getting it over to them. Hopefully their reaction is the same way ours was, because when you see the car on render, the way they rendered it out, actually I will tell you that as well, uh, they designed this particular wrap. We just made it come to life for them. This, they rendered the design on a car that was newer. This one's a little older, this is 2006, and they rendered it on like a, probably a 2015 model. So there's definitely a lot of differences in it. So our job was to try to replicate that as best as possible and still make it look good. So we took the uh, car in a little bit different direction. They gave us creative control. At this point, they really don't know what they're about to have dropped off to them. So hopefully they like it. I really, really hope that. Upstairs, pretty, pretty awesome, awesome, right? Yeah, told you we made some changes, yep. so I want you to see them. We did some different stripes, it looks clean. If you remember, they brought it all the way down, yeah. you know, but uh, on that one dimensional, it still really didn't work, you know, once you actually right. lay it out. So we just followed the body line, made it work. I think I think it looks really cool. The rear of the car was a little worried about, yeah, you know, since so what it looks like now, if there needs to be any changes, we can do that. But I still think it looks really cool. I think it looks it's simple and it's clean and it's right, neat. It really fits the lines of the car, it does. And we're gonna add a wing to the splitter, so it's gonna really complete the package, I think. Another thing that we did was we did a gloss black right at the bottom, so it kind of created that diffuser look. Mm -hmm. So instead of this being all color matched, kind of made it a little more aggressive by adding this in gloss black all the way down, so it goes to the sides. So and it matches. Yep. I think it updates the car. A lot of the newer BMWs come with, you know, the kind of ground effects in the gloss color. Yeah. Also did the front like that, center lip, also onto the sides. Oh, wow. You just gave it a cooler it's look. Subtle, subtle things that you pointed out. Right. They really make a big difference unless right. you're really looking at it. So. Um, it out of the park. Thank you, man. It looks like it was a white car. Yeah. It does. It doesn't look like a silver car. Yeah. What I noticed yeah. with the race car, I'll just be honest with you, uh, they blew everything up. Everything was just really, really blown up. Yeah. And the conflict you had with that on this car was you had a hip that goes up right here. Yeah. So when we made the logo bigger, your, your power was just stretching out right here and you were losing the actual effect of the what logo. it says, you know? Right. Uh, then also you had issues like the door handle, you know, where you're way into the door handle and you just lose it. Yeah. So we scaled it down a little bit to fit this size car. It's a little smaller than the race car, you know? So I think you can roll this around and still feel like it's AFE power logo and you don't have to, like, what is that, exactly. you know? <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you doing? How are you? Good, you can see him. Hello, how are you? Thanks, guys. Yeah, absolutely cool. Yeah, I'm not good to try. So red, huh? It looks really good. All right. All right, brother. Thanks, All right, thank you for everything. Thanks, for yeah, absolutely. Down. You guys got the good job, dude. Thank, thank you. Take care, gentlemen. This is no diss to AFE at all going on the record. But when we deliver a car, like a vehicle wrap, you get a... Uh, Usually the client and a friend, the person who drove them there, the client and their girlfriend will look over the car. In this case, we had to get approval from like eight people. And if you see the video, it's a little stressful because, uh, you know, I'm just sitting there and I'm really proud of the work we do, you know, but you're just waiting for somebody to be unhappy with something and just spark like one person after another. Like, ah, oh, we don't like that, we don't like that. They were all happy. So that was like the ultimate test because you had client number one, the guy that I've been doing business with from the beginning, Mike, come look at it, he was happy with it. His partner came out, and his partner's partner came out, and then the partner's 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 came out, and it was just everybody was combing the car. So I'm just like, oh God, here we go. But uh, AFE, if you guys know about them, very, very detail-oriented company. They're a company full of engineers. So on top of that, if you're familiar with just the engineer's personality, very, very detail-oriented individuals, just like us. So um, it was definitely interesting kind of clash of the worlds but they were happy and I couldn't be happier to deliver the car to them and to see that they were just as excited as we were and uh, on to the next project. Ooh.